Welcome to Bogota and Colombia. In the previous stream, somebody was complaining that I wasn't showing the real Colombia. <laughs> but then I got some Colombians commenting, you're showing the real Colombia. So <laughs> what is the real Colombia? It might be this one where there are people peeing here in the corner. Oh my gosh, the smell. But it might also be the rich and fancy one I was showing you. So trying to make everyone happy, which is totally impossible on the internet. Today we are in downtown. I actually took a hotel over there. It's a super interesting area because it is incredibly alive. Over here we do have some sugar cane machine. Super, super nice machine. Muy linda, great. Wow, so efficient. I've seen motorbike machines in Malaysia. I've seen uh, strange machines in Kenya. They were smashing the poor sugar canes. We might need the uh, sunglasses too. Where else? Come on, Stas. How much costs it, Masmen? One thing is the same, but another color. But maybe I should be getting this one. Oh gosh, I feel it weird. I feel it tight. Ah, tienes esto, perfecto. Perdóname, no, no soy seguro. Si no trabajo otro, regreso aquí. Vale. Ok. Pero muy, mucho, mucho yeah. gracias. I'm really searching for sunglasses because mine, they have more uh, scars and uh, scratches than uh, <laughs> any other normal person would be proud to wear. This is way too hot for uh, Bogota. Oh, she's packing books. Check this out. Super nice bags. It's very nice. How much does it cost? 35. 35.000? Okay, thank you. 35.000 is like 7 8 dollars. Maybe these ones are uh, used clothes. Look how fancy is this. I like watermelon, not pineapple and pizza. I hope it is what you want to see, guys. This is what they call the real Colombia for some people and for others it's the fancy, fancy, beautiful one. What else? Oh, these machines are super common and they have the same prices everywhere. Maybe you should get one. Mille. Okay. Gracias. Oh, the sun is up again. Maybe we should be finding the sunglasses. Natural sugar and fresh, like a lemonade. I don't know if uh, his other arm is broken, but he's able to do his job. Uh, Therefore, I am super, super happy for him. Let's go check a bit more this area. And if we go back in that direction, there is one of the main squares here in Bogota. Everything it is super interesting to me. Some people will make uh, the title of this video like uh, the real streets of Bogota. I have no idea what is going to be the title, to be honest. This is a way to understand what type of telephones people are using. When you see the case that is most common, you know which kind of phone the country has. Here you see no iPhones. But instead in El Salvador, <laughs> there are so many iPhones because relatives abroad send them. Instead of spending $1,000 on a telephone, you probably can start a business like a, a hot dog business on the street, but it's much easier to get money from the relatives. <laughs> I think there is a beautiful church in front of us. Let's get the... Oh my gosh. What else? I am completely addicted to chess. I didn't know they were playing on the streets. I'm sure these guys, they would destroy me, but I don't know. Maybe there is someone that is not so strong. There is no free table, otherwise I would be sitting immediately. Plus there is copyrighted music and therefore... I was <laughs> jumping over these bags. And therefore we are going to avoid playing. Maybe later, maybe later. They are having the mass, so I'm not going to disturb anything. This reminds me so much of the Kenyan village next to the Mwango's house. I'm back in Kenya. There is just a different floor and a different weather. In almost every square you can guess that it is Simon Bolivar, the person in the statue. But actually it's Francisco said the Caldas. Use market clothes, use watches. He's selling the stereo thing. Or he's speaking about politics. Maybe I'm going to try to alternate on this channel fancy and rich districts with uh, poorer districts. Whatever is interesting, it's interesting. I think both lives are the true Colombia. There is no fake Colombia. <laughs> Very cool graffiti and skeletons like in Mexico. What I like the most about downtown is not the poor people, it's not the rich people, it's not the people passing, but it's the colors. It is super incredibly colorful. And one thing I really, really love a lot Apart the prices, if you're a foreigner, the prices are absolutely great. 
is the graffiti. There are incredible graffitis everywhere, everywhere. And that graffiti is pretty weird. It seems like it has a, a camera on the top. A casino. Here are the graffiti again. And let's see. Chorizos de San Andreas. Buenas. It's muy lindo. We have a Chinese restaurant over here. If you are a foreigner, the prices are absolutely incredible. Or if you have a good job, you can move to Colombia and live like a king. This almost looks like pupusas. We have to try everything. Soups on the streets and uh, hot magazines on the streets. What else do we have on the street? My hotel room is so cold that now, finally, my body starts getting warmer thanks to the sun. Therefore, we are going to take out this. No strip tease for you. Too much of a male audience on my channel. By the way, I do have a chess shirt, therefore I should be going there to play chess. In the meantime, I was noticing this, it's probably a restaurant or a chain, but next to it, there is this incredible graffiti. Very, very nice. Compagnia del Sabor. Company of the taste, I don't know. I think it's all used clothing and used games. Maybe I should be finding a Colombian bracelet. I'm already in love with this country and been here for such a short period. Centro Colombiano de Artesan. But more interesting, uh, on this side we do have the Teatro Municipal Jorge Eliezer Gaitan. I probably missed, uh, misspelled the last two words, but here, this place is so touristic that probably we're gonna avoid it in this video. Let's go to another one. Let's move uh, to the center of the calle, and I cannot remember the name of this calle. There are these tall buildings in front of us, some palms. By the way, Colombia has the tallest palms on the planet. They have a world record, but they are not here in the capital, of course. They are in the forest, somewhere far from here. Maybe this terraza failed. BBC is the typical beer here in Colombia. And then do we have Pico's Cafe? I had like two coffees uh, this morning. No surprises. <laughs> Since I got uh, in Colombia, I got back addicted uh, to coffee. I really like this building over there. Let's get closer for a shot. Not a shot of coffee, eh? a shot for the camera. Yesterday, when I was uh, scouting this beautiful and colorful area, I found uh, a typical market where uh, tourists uh, do not go. And now, I have no idea what it is. I know that it's behind these buildings and I don't know if I should be doing every street until I find it. <laughs> so what I like a lot about Colombia is that they really take care of their restaurants. Super, super colorful. Very nice. I think I went a bit too far. I'm searching for this place. I think it is in front of me somewhere. We need some luck. Yesterday I had some water from this shop. Therefore, I think we are close. I think we are really, really close. Must be here somewhere on the left. Check this out. Very nice. And very scary. So guys, downtown it's really a mix of everything. Super expensive shops. And then they have people sleeping on the streets. And then again, expensive stuff. It's a very, very interesting place. Where is the market? Then again, more expensive stuff. No, maybe that one is a cheap version, but oh, I found the lavanderia. This could be useful. They have a lunch break from 1 until 2 p.m. Good, good, good for them. Now oh, there is a restaurant. Let's see if we found the place. No, it's not the place I wanted to see. I need a cheap place. Famosa Comida China. Okay, not only we should do in this direction, every road, and then we should do it also in this other direction. Vertical and horizontal. I'm starting to remember some English today. <laughs> oh gosh, I think I need a third coffee. For a short period of my life, I had my season ticket to National Geographic. Presto. It's like a fast food place. Maybe their own version of McDonald's. One thing I really like about Colombia is that in malls, it is not so common to see fast food. There are only local chains or local very, very good restaurants. Maybe a good title could be Colombia, the real streets in downtown Bogota. We'll see, we'll see. Now, probably you understand why every video I make takes me 20 kilometers of walking and then I consume all my shoes and I need to buy new shoes every three months. Crazy. Most of the videos is this, simply me walking. I like these uh, thick wheels, girls. If you like something thick, like the thick wheels. What's a stupid joke? Okay, we are back in the square that is not Simon Bolivar. Is it the place? Is it the place? Tell me it is the place. Yes, we found it. Finally, the real streets of Colombia, the real streets I like. Let me put on the mask, so people will look at me weirdly. They will look at me weirdly now that I have flowers. 
next to flowers. Bueno, ¿cuál es eh, la comida eh, colombiana más común? La de paisa. ¿Tienes? Claro. Muchas gracias. I don't know, juice of something, but approved. <laughs> oh, perfecto, gracias. I need to drink water, it's a very long time that I am without water. I'm just drinking coffees, I will probably die soon, but that's okay. Very tiny bottle, 300 milliliters. By the way, I need to tell you a super interesting scene that I wasn't able to film the other day. I was on the street and suddenly I see a motorbike. On the motorbike there are two police officers, one male and one female. The female jump out of the motorbike as if uh, she was jumping out of a horse. Then she starts to run after a criminal. The criminal is on the other side of the street, so she takes her sticks and she throws at him. She tries to catch him at the head, but she catches him only at the shoulders. Then the sticks bounces, it was super nice sound, a wooden sound, I don't know why I like so much the sound of the wood and then uh, she started to run again after the criminal the criminal ran on the other side of the street i think it was just a lesson for him to behave maybe he said something outrageous i don't know but it was a super fun scene to see and therefore i am here sharing it with you if you wanted to know about it earlier you should have followed me on instagram where i wrote all these things when they did happen we are eating at the restaurant Asadero la piragua perfetto muchas gracias es la mia primera vez Bien, ¿Cómo se llama una otra vez? Paisa. 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 Solo paisa. 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 Bien plena. Por Perfecto. Bien. Muchas gracias. Look how beautiful, guys. Unbelievable. Super, super nice. There is everything a human needs. Something like a potato, beans, a tortilla, sausage, meat, egg, rice, avocado, everything, everything. Okay, we probably need to try this thing before it gets cold. Oh my gosh. What else do we need in life? Like, this is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. We go first for the meat. Because the meat cannot get cold. It's forbidden by the law of this channel. You cannot have cold meat. Only cold shit. Almost lost everything. I have no idea. I was about to lose uh, this other type of meat. Chicharron. Mm. Mm. I don't know if this one is platano. Some kind of veggie. Very nice. Egg and rice. My gosh. If this one is the official typical dish of Colombia, we just won the lotto because it will make you full for the rest of the day. Very, very nice. These are the real streets of Colombia that I do love. Right prices, food, avocados, lots of rice on the bottom. Okay, I need to focus on this plate. See you later. So the plate has been a victim of my stomach. I'm pretty satisfied. How is the todo? Ahí está todo. Ah, okay. Todo. Gracias. So it's 19,000. Like less than five dollars, and we got everything, including the juice and the water. This is for the propina. Okay. Gracias. Hasta luego. I know it is nothing as propina 1000. Incredible, incredible value. Huge, huge plate. Super suggested place where to come. That's it from this video from the real streets of Bogota. The beauty, the beast, the everything. But lots of food, lots of food, and it was delicious. Thank you so much for watching. Keep reading and believe in your dreams. Support the channel on Patreon, PayPal, Bitcoin if you can. Ciao, gracias.